Good morning, children. Now, before we start, please stand and let us pray. Okay, John Paul, please lead the prayer. Okay, the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Okay, before you take your seats, please observe your place. Uh, see if there is a trash trashes. Please put it on the trash can. Okay? Okay. Now, please take your seats. Now, I will check the attendance. And if you hear your name, just raise your hand. Okay? Okay. Now, I'm very happy that everybody is present today. Okay. Now, before we proceed, let's take a review about the solar system. So, what do you know about the solar system? There are what? There are planets. Very good. Now, what are the eight major planets of the solar system? Okay, if you want to answer, just raise your hand, okay? Okay, now, Lorna, Mercury, very good. Rona, Venus, very good. Jessalyn, Bird, anyone? Okay, Mars, very good. Jupiter, very good. Saturn, very good. Uranus, very good. And Neptune. Okay, very good. Now, how about the three dwarf planets? The Ceres, Eres, and Pluto. Very good. Now, how about the center of the solar system? It is what? It is the sun. Yes, very good. Now, this would be our objectives for this morning. Okay, everybody read. First, determine the difference between rotation and revolution of the earth second demonstrate rotation and revolution of the earth using the using a globe to explain day and night and number three establish knowledge on the importance of having day and night now you understand okay now i have here something to show you here yeah so, what did you observe with this thing? It is, it is a circle. Yes, very good. So, what do you call this thing? It is what? It is, it is globe. This is called globe. What does globe represent? It represents what? It represents our planet Earth. Yes, very good. Now, what do you think? Is the reason why we have day and night? Because of what? Because of the sun? Because of the moon? Okay, let's find out after you do the activity. Let's find out if your answers are correct. If that are really the reason why we have uh, experiencing day and night. If there is sun or if there is moon. Okay? Okay, now, but before you start, what are the things we must remember and do while doing the activity? We must what? We must share ideas. Yes, very good. Cooperate with the group. With the group, very good. Another one, follow and understand the instruction. Yes, very good. And last, finish the task on time. Okay? Okay, now, your output and presentation will be rated and marked using our rubrics. Here. Here will be our rubric for your activity. The first criteria, accuracy of the output made. Number two, explanation. Number three, cooperativeness. Now, I will give you uh, five points if your output is outstanding. And four points if, if your output is good. And three points if it needs to improve. Okay, you understand? Okay. So, what are you going to do to your activity here? Here will be your doing a... Uh, you're, you're going to first group. 
For the first group, choose two members from the group who will perform as sun and earth. Number two, paste the sun and earth pictures to the performers. Number three, show perform and uh, perform. The earth rotates on its axis counterclockwise from west to east while revolving around the sun. That is for group one. How about for group two? Okay, for group two, choose two members from the group who will perform as moon and earth. Okay, if and then number two, paste the moon and earth pictures to the performers. Number three, show perf show and perform the earth rotates on its axis counterclockwise from west to east while the moon revolves around the sun. The earth opposite direction. Okay, for group three. Okay, for group 3, using globe, rotate the earth on its axis once, counterclockwise. Number 2, turn the flashlight on facing the earth. List some places lighted by the flashlight. And you have to take notes. The, uh, the places lighted by the flashlight. So, for group 4, for the last group, Using globe, rotate the earth on its axis once counterclockwise. Number two, turn the flashlight on facing the earth. Using the globe, huh? list number three, list some places that are not lighted by the flashlight. So you are using this, this two globe for group, group three and for group four. Okay, okay. Here. So, I will give you only uh, 10 minutes to finish your output. Do you understand? Okay. You may now start your activity. Okay. Go, go. Time's up. Please come in front and present your group output. Now. Very good. Now, I will mark your group output based on our criteria. So, first criteria, accuracy of the output made. Now, because the group 1 made the outstanding effort to the out, their, their output, I will give them a 5 points. Same with group 2, group 3, and group 4. So, give them a 3 claps for group 1, 2, group 2, group 3, group, group 4. Okay, 1, 2, 3. Okay, now, for explanation, because they did also outstanding effort, for their explanation, I will give them a 5 points each for group 1, group 2, group 3, and group 4. So, give them also a 3 claps for group 1, group 2, group 3, group 4. Okay, 1, 2, 3. Okay, very good. So, for cooperativeness, as they uh, made also the outstanding effort for their creativity of their output, I will give them a 5 points for each Group 1, group 2, group 3, group 4. Okay. Give them a, uh, 3 caps for each group. 1, 2, 3. Okay. Very good. Now, what did you observe uh, based on our activity? What did you observe? It is all about, uh, it tackles, it uh, tackles what? It tackles the, the rotation and revolution. And also on the day and night. Okay. Now, our topic is all about the motion of the motion of the earth. Yes. There are two motions of the earth. Name, rotation, and revolution. So now, let's read. Okay, rotation. Rotation is the movement of the earth on its own axis. The period of one complete rotation is defined as day. Rotation of the earth causes day and night. Places facing the sun will experience daytime, while those facing away from the sun experience nighttime. So, now, rotation. Here, for example, the globe. Rotation is the movement of the earth on its own axis. Okay, just like the of Group 1 earlier, group 1 
the earth, the earth uh, perform and move on its own axis, right? Okay. So it said that the period of one complete rotation is defined as day. How many hours there are there in one day? There are 24 hours. Very good. So now, rotation of the earth said that it causes day and night. So the causes of day and night is the rotation of the, the earth. Now, places facing the sun will experience daytime. Well, those facing away from the sun experience night. So the, just like deed of group 3, they list the places which uh, experiences the, uh, the daytime. But it, uh, they determine it based on the, the light of flashlight. The, the places that light up the flashlight, it, uh, the flashlight serve as the Yes, very good. Should serve as the sun. Then um, they list the uh, the places which is uh, places with the light as the sun. It as uh, experiencing in daytime, and while the opposite, uh, you will experience the nighttime. Just like did what uh, list by group four. So when revolution a man, revolution is the movement of the earth around the sun. The period of one complete revolution is defined as year. So just like the of group 2, so revolution uh, did uh, the, the earth moves on its own axis and also revolves. Uh, it revolves around the sun, right? For group 2, for group 1 and group 2. Group 1, they revolve around the sun. Okay? Now, now, do you understand? So again, what are our topic all about? It's all about the motions of the of the earth. Very good. Now, how many how many motion does the earth have? There are two. Very good. So what are those two? Right? Okay, revolution. Very good. And the the rotation. Very good. Now. What are the difference between the rotation and revolution? Okay, what are the difference? The first of oh, rotation is the movement of the earth on its own axis. Yes, very good. How about the revolution? The revolution is is the the movement of the earth and uh, around the sun. Yes, very good. Now, what causes day and night? What causes day and night? Okay, rotation causes the day and night. So how many days it needs to complete one rotation? It needs one day or 24 hours. Very good. So how about the revolution? How many days? It needs 365 days. Very good. Or a uh, one year. Yes, very good. Now, is it important to have day and night? So go back to the question. Is it important to have day and night? Yes. Why? Because without the day and night, the plants would die. And if they do, we could uh, we don't have we would don't have the source of survival like foods, right? And which is the plants is our primary source of survival. Just also like animals and and humans, as we are humans. Okay, now we, we understand what is the rotation and revolution. Okay, now if you do the get your notebook and answer this. Okay. Answer this. Draw the rotation of the earth counterclockwise using an arrow. Okay? Okay. I will give you in five minutes to finish. Okay, go, go. Notebook, notebook. Just get your notebook. Okay? Okay. Done? Okay. You done? Use your notebook again and copy your assignment.
For your assignment, write on a one whole piece of paper, if the earth does not rotate on its own axis and does not revolve around the sun, will we still be able to experience day and night? And then explain your answer. And, uh, and, and I will collect that tomorrow. Okay? Done? If you're done, so that answer this. So get your uh, get a one whole piece of paper and answer this. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Okay, number one. It is the movement of the earth on its own axis. A, rotation. B, orbit. C, revolution. D, axis. Okay, number two. It is the movement of the earth around the sun. A, rotation. B, revolution. C, orbit. D, axis. Number three. The rotation of the earth causes lamp and night. So A, noon. B, morning. C, evening. D, day. For number four, one complete rotation of the earth takes lamp. A, one day. B, one year. C, one season. D, or one week. Okay. For number five, one complete revolution of the earth takes lamp. A, one day. B, one year. C, one season. Or D, one week. Okay. So, are you finished? Okay, are you finished? Okay, please pass your paper in front. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, now. That's all and thank you.